Savior Jesus Christ. And if you are here today and you do not have a relationship with the Lord, this is the right time that you can pray a short prayer with us. This is a short prayer and confess your sins and ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart that you are going to be blessed. Just ask the Lord to touch you. Confess with your heart and believe in your heart that you are going to be blessed. Amen? Good. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We are saying that, Lord, you are Lord and you are above all. Thank you that all power in heaven and all power on earth is being given unto you by your Father. And we are praying that today may you empower us, give us strength, anoint us in a very special way that we'll be able to do your way, O Lord. And forgive each and every person here our sins. Forgive all of us our sins. Because the, the Bible says that for all our sin and we have come short of the glory of God. So we are praying that today may our sins and our iniquities be forgiven us. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Now I'm going to sing some songs. Praising the Lord Jesus Christ. Before, after that, I will read the word of God. And we are all going to be blessed. Amen. Amen. At the cross, at the, the cross, cross, where I first Amen. saw the light and the burnings of my heart, they rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all Amen. the day. Thank you, Jesus. At the cross, of the cross, where the first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart, they rode away. It was there by faith, I received my sight, and now I am happy all the way. He came from heaven to earth to show the way, from the air to the cross, I dare to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name for time. Yes, yes. He came from heaven to earth to show the way, from the air to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name for time. Thank you, Jesus. Bless, bless you. you. Lord, we lift your name on high. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now, the good gospel, the good news, the word of God from Jesus Christ, what I'm going to read right now. Amen. I'm going to read something from the book of, uh, the, the last book, the book of Revelation, chapter 3. I'm going to read from verse uh, 15. Let me do the same reading. Amen. From verse 15, is this what Jesus Christ himself said? The text is read. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. We're just witnessing about your Lord and your Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. If you just join us, be happy, rejoice, and be filled with the Holy Spirit, and Amen. be blessed. Amen? Amen? Just open up your heart, and God is going to bless you. All right. Praise God. Amen. All right. So now, listen to the word of God. It says here from verse 15, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I will that thou was cold nor hot. Now Jesus said that I know your works, all right, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were cold or hot. But at verse 16, so then because you are lukewarm, you are lukewarm, a mixture of the cold and the hot, it becomes a lukewarm. Because you are lukewarm, I will vomit you, I will speed you out of my mouth. This is what Christ is saying. Because you are lukewarm, he's going to vomit you out of his mouth. It's, it's really scary. All right? Now, hear what he said, verse 17. He said that, Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods, and I have no need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Now, he said that you say that you are you are rich and you are you have increase of all goods you have everything that you need so you don't need you don't need god you don't believe in god you don't believe in jesus christ you don't want to hear he says that don't you know that you are wretched miserable poor blind and naked that is what jesus christ is saying you can have all the money and without no job you can have all the money because a lot of people are fighting for money you can have all the friends but if god don't give you peace the true peace the peace, the peace that he promised us. He said, my peace that he will see is not as the world give it, give it back. So I'm telling you that we need Jesus Christ. 
you need Jesus Christ tonight. So Amen. don't wait no more. Verse 19, it says that as many as I love, I rebuke and I chasten. Be zealous therefore and repent. He says that because he loves you, when you do things that is not right, he's gonna rebuke you. He's gonna chasten you. So because of the love that Christ has for us, he does this kind of thing. Amen. Now, now verse 20. He says that, Behold, I stand at the door, and I knock. If any man hear my voice, all right, I will open the door and come in. I will open the door. If, if any man hears my voice, all right, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Now, Jesus Christ says that he's knocking on the door. The door is your heart. He's knocking on the door. He's telling you that I want to come in. I want to help you. I want to bless you. Your weakness, I want to take it. Jesus Christ is knocking at your heart, which is your, the door. All right, and he's asking you to open. He said that if you hear, if you obey, if you obey him, and then you open your heart, then he's gonna come in and he's gonna suck with you. That means he's gonna be with you. That is the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. So he's knocking. There's somebody.